Welcome back guys and thank you for tuning in to another great video. Various people amongst us aspire to take their business to the next level and reach new heights. Warren Buffett is one such man. He's a self-made billionaire who started investing at an early age. Want to know more about it and become a leader in the stock market yourself? Then here are Warren Buffett's top tips for investing in the stock market. Number 10. Invest in what you know. One of the biggest mistakes, yet the most avoidable mistake, is making an investment in a business you know nothing about. There are a lot of markets that are difficult to understand or are just not your cup of tea, so it's better to avoid them. Now, this doesn't mean you can't take risks, but it's important to be cautious and research the market you're investing in rather than spending your hard-earned money without any knowledge of the market. There are far too many fish in the sea, or in this context, too many businesses to invest in rather than investing in a complex business you understand nothing about. Number 9. Never compromise on business quality. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price, Warren Buffett. Buffett is the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, a multinational conglomerate holding company. However, you'd be surprised that their name, Berkshire Hathaway, is inspired by one of Warren's worst investments. In his initial years, he believed that if you invested in a stock market at a sufficiently low price, an unexpected profit will come out of it even if the company's long-term performance remains poor. However, with years of experience comes years of wisdom. Now, Warren believes in a cigar butt investment and that such an approach is useless until you're a liquidator. Over the last 50 years, his investment philosophy has developed to focus almost completely on investing in high-quality firms with good long-term growth prospects. It's important to invest in a company that offers good business quality instead of giving in to the temptation to buy faulty, cheaper, but low-quality stock. Number 8. Plan to hold a stock long-term If you aren't thinking about owning a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes, Warren Buffett says. He definitely believes in the buy and hold strategy. Some of his stocks have been with him for decades now. This has very strong reasoning behind it. First of all, it's difficult to identify outstanding businesses with a promising long-term future. Once you find such markets, it's easier to stick with them. In addition, high-quality businesses provide significant returns and grow in value over time. There is no doubt that even a smart business with high chances of success takes time to provide a profitable return on investment. Continuously buying and selling of stocks hinder the chances of long-term thriving profits. Number 7. Avoid excessive diversification Diversification is a protection against ignorance. It makes very little sense for those who do what they're doing, Warren Buffett. Individual investors usually make a profit when they buy about 70 stocks in a variety of industries. Many mutual funds, on the other hand, include hundreds of stocks in their portfolio. Warren Buffett, on the other hand, is the polar opposite. Buffett's greatest stake in 1960 was a staggering 35% of his whole portfolio. Warren Buffett invests his greatest ideas because he understands that exceptional firms hardly ever come at a reasonable price in the market. Diversification to a great degree means that portfolio is not only involved in the best high-quality business but mediocre business as well. This has adverse effects on the overall quality of the portfolio. Moreover, owning 100 stocks makes it impossible to keep an eye on the current trends of all those markets. We feel quite comfortable concentrating our holdings in the much smaller number that we do identify as attractive, Warren Buffett. Number 6. Don't believe every news you hear According to Warren Buffett, because there's so much chatter about markets, the economy, interest rates, price behavior of stocks, etc., some investors believe it's important to listen to pundits and, worse yet, important to consider acting upon their comments. However, he takes a different approach. He believes that most of the news about the stock market is not news but mere noise. Will it really affect you if Pepsi missed hitting its target of quarterly earnings by 5%? 
Will you sell all of your shares if Adobe stock has dropped by 11%? Changing your investment patterns based on hundreds of news circulating makes things too complex and long-term profits are gone. The news needs to be credible before you start buying and selling your share. Hence, it's crucial not to believe every news you hear. Number 5. Neither is investment a rocket science nor it's an easy button. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. Investing isn't a game where the guy with the 160 IQ beats the guy with the 130 IQ, Warren Buffett. There's no need to be demotivated when it comes to the stock market if you're a novice or feel that you're comparatively incompetent. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to learn the basics of the stock market or spend your time and money on a thousand stock market books before you start. However, the stock market is not an easy game either. You can't just suddenly wake up in the morning and decide to invest in a stock market without any knowledge or in stocks that you didn't even research about. Investors should be aware that there's no magical spell or an easy button to make profitable investments. It's important to know that time takes time. Number 4. Price and value are not the same things. So why would I have sold my stocks that were small investments in wonderful businesses? True, any one of them might eventually disappoint, but as a group, they were certain to do well, Warren Buffett. Investors seem to be obsessed with ticker quotations scrolling across the screen. Also, financial crisis opened doors for many bargains. Investors don't mind selling their firms regardless of their company strength or long-term earnings potential. However, stock prices are essentially more volatile than the fundamentals of the market. Many times, stock prices have little link with a company's long-term prospects. An investor must differentiate between price and value focused on high-quality businesses trading at today's most affordable rates. Number 3. Boring Moves Equals Best Moves Beware the investment activity that produces applause. The great moves are usually greeted by yawns Warren Buffett. Risk is thrilling, but caution is intelligent. More than often, you will have the urge to invest in emerging companies that deal with an exciting product. However, that's not how success comes. It's wise to invest in boring companies that have already proven their worth than to invest in novice companies just for the sake of the thrill. In addition, investors should be aware that investing in stocks doesn't mean overnight profit and it's better to wait even if it's super boring than to buy and sell continuously. Number 2. Low-cost index funds are sensible for most investors. My advice to the trustee couldn't be more simple. Put 10% of the cash in short-term government bonds and 90% in a very low-cost S&P 500 index fund. I suggest Vanguard's Warren Buffett. We harm our performance in various ways, including attempting to time the market, taking unnecessary risks, trading on emotions, stepping outside our area of expertise, and so on. Low-cost passive indexing can be an excellent approach for many investors, primarily if they're not concerned with earning consistent dividend income. EDF dividends tend to be lumpy and more susceptible to cuts during bear markets. Most stock pickers fail to provide results that justify their increased costs. Number 1. Only listen to the ones you trust We've long felt that the only value of stock forecasters is to make fortune tellers look good, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is extremely picky about his company partners and management. Their actions have the potential to make or destroy an investment for many years to come. The stock market is full of colorful personalities, both good and bad. Unfortunately, they may take advantage of investors' false expectations and their sentiments of fear and greed to earn a fast profit. Investors should stay cautious and realize the degree of unpredictability involved in investing. So do let me know your thoughts regarding all of these in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!